Channel 8 has learned that the controversial leader of Dallas's welfare mothers, Ruth Jefferson, is now employed. Monday, she will begin work with the War on Poverty Office here in West Dallas. She was picked from 18 applicants were, who were interviewed last Thursday. The way the selection worked is this. The community leaders and poverty officials interviewed all the applicants and then narrowed the candidates down to three. Then a select committee of War on Poverty administrators, including West Dallas Supervisor Robert Medrano, picked Ruth Jefferson. According to Medrano, she was chosen on the basis of her dynamic personality, leadership qualities, and her past work in various welfare causes. The selection was taken by secret ballot. The vote was four to two. So the controversial and well-known Ruth Jefferson is no longer a welfare mother. She is a working mother. This is Jim Riddle, Channel 8 News, reporting. Well, as you know, we were, first since 1965, we've been involved in it, and, and it's growing, this movement of the Mexican-Americans and the gray boycott, which is one and the same, is growing bigger and bigger throughout the country. Now it's nationally and internationally throughout the world. Even from Hawaii, it's from Sweden, England, and other places, the boycott has been great. Here in the United States, most of the major cities in the United States, like New York, Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, nearly all of these, uh, the mayors of these cities, good mayors that we've had, have supported the Don't Buy Grape uh, issue. And uh, we're hoping to get into this act into the Texas area as soon as we can. Judge Green, what were the general findings of the outside auditors in their report today? Well, Tarrant County is in, I think, the healthiest financial condition probably of any metropolitan county in the whole country. Uh, I believe that uh, in the next uh, year or so that we're going to be able to do many of the things that the growth county that we live in uh, demands that be, that be done. Uh, I'm just real pleased. Well, might we carry this good news of the financial outlook for the county a step further and say that there's a possibility for a tax decrease? Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, we'll have to see what our situation is next, uh, next July when we set the tax rate. But uh, this is a growth county. We're, uh, the building programs are going on, and I think that uh, that will be able to take care of uh, any needs that we have. Uh, of course, it would be wonderful if we'd be able to decrease the tax rate, that would be something almost unheard of in the last one-third of the 20th century, and I would hope that we can do that, but uh, I wouldn't anticipate that we necessarily would at this time. Actually, our goal is to ask these stores, persuade them not to buy the California grapes, and this is really all we're after, in order that the people in California can negotiate with the farmers out there and put the people back on the jobs and get them off the welfare rolls. Frank, did you contact the manager here at the store before you began picketing? Uh, yes, we did. Uh, we contacted the manager of the store uh, about the middle of the week, and we told him that we would like to simply make a gentleman's agreement with him that you don't handle grapes, and uh, this is our only concern. Uh, did you get any response from him at all? 
uh, he told us that he would call his uh, boss, and uh, if it was all right with him, he wouldn't buy the grapes, and uh, he would let us know within the evening or by the next day, and we never heard from him. So this morning, the results is we're picked in the store. How long do you anticipate this will last? Even if it's temporary, we feel as though that uh, we, there should not be a lot of gravel and cut up glass and broken bottles and filth all over it. We feel as though it still, there still should be grass, even temporary, because temporary is going to be for two years. And we know the city can afford to do this. All the neighborhood parks have grass. All the temporary neighborhood parks have grass. So we feel this one should have it also. He did it real quick, so that's why we didn't get anybody.